Hello everybody, Busy Dad here doing a special Super Smash Brothers predictions video. Today we're going to be talking about some predictions that are going to be revealed in the new Super Smash Brothers Nintendo Direct for December 2015. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you some of my thoughts, my predictions, and then when the Direct features Later this month, we'll see how accurate I am. So, to start off, I predict that there's going to be five characters revealed in the Nintendo Direct. I believe that two of them are completely brand new, never seen before. Uh, two of them are going to be returning veteran fighters, and one of them that's going to be revealed has already been revealed, uh, and that is Cloud Strife, who is revealed in the November Nintendo Direct as well as some of his moves and uh, a new stage, the Midgar stage from Final Fantasy VII. So along with Cloud, the two veteran fighters that we're going to be seeing is hands down, no question, Wolf from Star Fox. He, uh, Falco, the, the amiibo Falco was recently released as well as the Star Fox Zero game was supposed to be released this month, but it got moved to April 2016. So I think this was supposed to be somewhat of a Star Fox Christmas with both the Amiibo, the new Star Fox game, and then obviously for Smash Brothers, they would reveal Wolf as the new downloadable character. Yeah, even though Star Fox got postponed, I still think they're going to release Wolf as a downloadable character. Um, and then the other fighter, veteran fighter that we're going to see is Snake from the Metal Gear series. Uh, there's no reason why he should be cut. I mean, he was a great character, and uh, you know, I think they're going to bring him back uh, as as a downloadable character. Uh, as far as two new fighters are concerned, um, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring for. Shovel Knight. I think he is the favorite of the Nintendo Indies, or as they call them, Nindies, and uh, they're actually making an amiibo for him, for sure. So he's already already slated to have uh, an amiibo figurine, um, so uh, why not have some compatibility with with Super Smash Brothers? Uh, his moveset would translate well. Um, he's very popular among the polls that have been done um, outside of the official Nintendo ballot. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to predict Shovel Knight as a downloadable character. Now the last downloadable character that I'm going to predict took a lot of uh, thinking. I, I knew that Nintendo was going to have some just amazing big name uh, that they're going to reveal and I, I wasn't sure, you know, if they were going to maybe do the third party like they did with Cloud. You know, I considered, you know, a Halo character, uh, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, Nathan Drake from Uncharted. You know, just to, you know, think outside the box. But all those characters were very um, artillery heavy or used guns. And, you know, Nintendo tries really hard to keep their ratings uh, not mature. So I don't know how well they would translate. Smash Brothers game. Not saying that they couldn't, but um, I'm just not sure how that would work out. So, um, so with that being said, I needed a character that had, who was an iconic video game character that possibly had some Nintendo history and would translate well in the Smash Brothers universe. Now, you just keep coming back to the character Banjo Kazooie. Um, they're uh, an amazing duo. They have a great move set. They would translate well in the Smash Brothers universe. They have uh, a history with Nintendo. Uh, arguably, they have they've made uh, an a greater impact uh, on Nintendo consoles than any other company Rare has. Um, as you know, Microsoft currently owns the rights to Rare. But the president of the company recently tweeted that he would be totally fine with working with Nintendo for letting them use that IP. Obviously, with such a rich history with Nintendo uh, and Rare, uh, he definitely understands that. So I think that they're definitely a possibility, and I would personally love to see them. So those are my five top top five predictions for characters. Uh, just a few other wild cards, you know. 
I think it would be really cool to see Bomberman. Bomberman has a lot of history with Nintendo. He, is, he I know they could come up with a great moveset for him. Uh, I think Zero from Mega Man X and other Mega Man games would be a really cool character to have. So hopefully Capcom would be willing to, to share him. Or even a Mega Man X character with a different moveset, uh, but definitely showing some love for the Mega Man series. Um, and then I'm going to also jump on the Shantae band bandwagon. I personally haven't played those games, but I've, I've heard so much um, uh, support for her as a character. And the videos that I've seen and articles I've read, I, I definitely think she would uh, be a good character, especially with her history with Nintendo. Um, and then maybe one other character. Uh, um, oh, oh, King K. Rule, definitely. I, I actually personally voted for King K. Rule in the Smash Brothers ballot when it first came out, uh, and then they later came out with the uh, the me costume for it, so that kind of killed my hope a little bit. Uh, but there, you never know. There's, there have been some characters that have both a me or a, a yeah me costume and they're a playable character. Um, so King K. Rule isn't totally out and. While we're at it, let's just throw in Dixie and Cranky Kong as just another Kong character uh, that we could potentially see. So those are the characters. Obviously, they're going to show off some new stages um, that will correspond with the characters that have been revealed. Uh, they'll have some old uh, levels that they're going to bring back, uh, possibly from the N64. Really, from any any previous Smash Brothers game, we're going to see some some. Uh, iconic levels come back. Um, as far as new game modes are concerned, I don't think they're going to launch any major new game modes or any substantial uh, changes to the game mechanics, uh, except for patches, obviously, for balancing reasons. But other than that, I think this is going to be a character-heavy direct. I think Cloud and the two veteran characters will be available for download immediately following the direct as they did with uh, Lucas and Roy and Ryu um, and then the two the two uh, new characters um, will will eventually be available for download in 2016 with um, uh, so I think that's gonna how it's gonna go down um, I really hope they keep the DLC train going and that door won't be closed and that they'll continually add more content and characters and so forth. I mean, why not? Their fans love it. It's a great business for Nintendo making money. Um, and the Smash community is just getting bigger and more robust. So anyway, those are my predictions for the, the Nintendo Direct in December 2015. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you have any comments or questions, uh, you can post them below. If you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching and have a great day.